Hello everyone, Amazon Nation. Good day to all of you. I'm inviting you to hear another exciting story from one of our Filipino Amazon Masterclass. Amazon seller and nakakatawag because at the midst of the pandemic, at the hype of the pandemic in fact, he found another opportunity. So let's all welcome Brian. Hi Brian. Hi Coach Lesh. Yeah, okay Brian. Can you tell us more about yourself? Sino si, sino si Brian before doing Amazon selling? So, um, I run a business. Uh, I run a tech company uh, based in Australia, operating here in the Philippines. So, um, I've been doing that for the past couple of years. And then, um, I heard about Amazon selling you know, from former colleagues of mine. And I got interested. So, I downloaded a, a book on, on my Kindle and... Um, yeah, so I started reading it about FBA, got interested in it, and then I went ahead and uh, created an account. Uh, but then I ran into a lot of problems, you know? uh, And then I, I that 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 interest quickly died down until I uh, saw the Amazon Masterclass ran by uh, Miss Lish by you, Miss Lish, and then um, I decided to check it out and enroll. Yeah. Ah, nice. So, you, uh, you have a knowledge now before joining Amazon, but haven't um, tried selling on Amazon before 2020? No, 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 not really. Because when I entered that account, I had a problem with uh, my account. So, because um, the condo, um, parang there was a problem with my um, document then, with my documents. Okay. So, um, the the problem was the condo that I was living in that I owned, um, yung utility bills weren't, uh, no, uh, weren't uh, it was based on the condo administration no, na hindi tinatanggap ni Amazon. Uh, so it was only then you know, when I enrolled uh, to, to your master class, um, you know, your team was able to guide me through it and I was able to find a workaround and I was able to actually, you know, start uh, selling, you know, have my account approved at the very least. You know? uh, so that for me in itself was already a big help, but was a big help. And in my mind was already worth the cost of the, of the, I know, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because way back 2018, 2019, I guess also to early part of 2020, so hard talaga. To be approved mm -hmm. in Amazon Seller, especially the professional account. And uh, that's good to hear that you were able to find a workaround. So, yeah, mm -hmm. that's a good thing. That's the first step. So, yeah. Uh, okay, so you enrolled already in FAM. What's your goal before you enrolled in FAM? Uh, before I enrolled, my goal really was to have um, another source of income uh, apart from the business. Um, you know, something that my wife and I could do on the side. Um, because what I've read on that book uh, in Kindle, it was uh, more of a side hustle um, that would earn uh, passively while we're working on our business. Um, so that was my goal. Uh, but then that slowly evolved into much finer goals, um, a lot smaller details, you know, smaller objectives like um, you know, looking for a product, then uh, you know, looking for a, for a winning product you know, having um you know having my brand registered in the us having uh, that brand uh, you know engraved in the product now th those became really small goals and until now it's it's a uh, it's a struggle it's a, it's a it's a it's a work in progress but you know you know we we took the journey and right now we're doing a lot better compared to how we started Sige. i heard about the uh, branding or the trademark Sige nga. Um, can you tell us more about it? Since when ka, you enrolled in FAM 2020, right? At the high I school. did. I did, yes. And then your first goal was to set up your trademark or brand? Tama uh, ba? Well, coming into the course, uh, that wasn't my goal. <laughs> um, because, you know, coming, you know, after, when I was reading up, uh, I knew about a set, you know, I had the set budget uh, in terms of capital in mind. And when I entered the uh, the, the course, 
I realized how important it was to have a brand from the get go. You know, para at least hindi mahijack. I think that was the term that was constantly used. Uh, yung listing and um, at least to have to really have that um, uh, what do you call that that advantage, right? Uh, from the get go of having that brand registry and having that uh, though that UI aspect of a brand registered listing. Uh, so I decided to increase my capital and go ahead with um, you, know, you know fulfilling the brand registry and it was another journey uh, by itself no and I'm glad that you and Coach Jam were, were there to guide me um, gave me referrals kung sino agency and uh, lawyer yung pwede kong kausapin sa US to get my brand registered and uh, you know ever since then we were working on it. And then um, we received good news a couple of uh, days ago that the brand has already been published. Um, and we have 30 days um, na may mag, ano, may mag um, counter. If not, that brand is ours. Wow! USPTO officially yes. registered. Congratulations. Yes, thank yeah. you. So it took some time then and I'm sure it was um, kahit pa paano complicated because imagine the time you spent and probably the the cost um not the cost and uh, yeah so pero habang hinihintay mo yung product while you're waiting for the product uh for the brand i mean to be registered were you able to search for your own products and launch the business as also yes i was so um with the advice of the agency you know that um yeah, coach uh, jam uh, recommended um, we can already start using the brand. We can actually, parang uh, during that time, there was a new uh, setup with Amazon brand register registry. Na kahit um, you know pending palang yung trademark, you can already enroll the, enroll it in brand registry. So I, we were able to do that. So since last year, um, we were able to start selling. You know? So we officially launched the product. Um, I think that was August of 2021. Uh, so up until now, we're we're, uh, we're selling it, and uh, our second batch of shipment already uh, arrived in the US. Uh, so so and then we also had that good news that the brand, you know, we we had another milestone in the brand uh, registration. Uh, so seems like everything is, I don't know, um, you know, working well. <laughs> you know, Putting so, into place, running into place. That's yeah. Good, good, good to hear. You mentioned that you. Um, you research for your first item and that's already a winning item because it's it was sold out uh yeah i wouldn't really say it's a winning item um but but it it, it is high value item but um i don't think it is i, I don't have that barometer yet of what uh winning product is but at least it's profitable <laughs> at the very least okay. that's good right that's good first it's um profitable and i guess the the most um, important thing is that you can say right now that the that the system is actually you can call it semi passive income because it's actually running mm -hmm. on its own, yeah. And FBA your 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 ano diba, your items in this is in uh, is on Amazon and it's you yes got the FBA mod. Yes. Okay, you that's good. Yeah. So now that you have the second product and I think a second batch of your inventory um i really hope that uh it's another it's it's it will be another sold out or <laughs> let me say na um profitable batch Ayan. so yeah, fingers crossed uh, <laughs> yeah so how do you feel now that you're an actual seller and before it was i mean last year or two years ago it was only just a dream for you um it's something that my wife and i are really proud of um, you know, it's 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 additional. You know, it's it's on its way to become additional income for us. Um, you know, it it it's rare that you enter a, a business or an or an investment. Uh, na walang hindi ka muna, hindi ka malulugi in the first batch. No, I am not saying that it's bulletproof, it's foolproof. You know, we're just lucky na hindi nalugi yung first batch namin. Uh, but you know we've heard stories of other people na nalugi sa first batch second batch you know, we're just very fortunate na 
you know, break even with a little bit profit yung first batch namin. Um, but it feels very fulfilling and very, you know, I feel very proud of it. Um, I, I recently got into cycling and what I did was I I placed the brand, you know, uh, in my cycling jersey. So that's how proud I was of uh, what we've done and what we've accomplished. And um, it gets you excited. It gets you excited on, um, you know, that, that you see, you wake up every day and you check um, how many units that I've sold last night while I was sleeping. Uh, gets you excited, you know, uh, waking up in the morning. It is. It is very exciting. And especially now that you already have a brand. And I can imagine that if it grows, it will be a worldwide known because it started on Amazon. And who knows? You'll have a, a kiosk or boutique here in the Philippines someday. Like, uh, like yung mga sikat na brands sa Amazon. So, yeah. Yeah, that's good. Hopefully. Hopefully. Yes. Um, so, I know that you had challenges in, well, on your journey to becoming a successful Amazon seller. Can you share us more, more about those challenges? Um, well, apart from that, the first challenge, uh, the, the, you know, getting the account approved, uh, there were a lot of, you know, fine prints along the way uh, that, you know, are, aren't really discussed in the, in the, in, in the courses, but, you know, with, with the right amount of grit and the right amount of guidance, uh, from the coaches, uh, I, we were able, my wife and I were able to, um, you know, overcome, um, all of them. Uh, so for example, um, in terms of timing and daming, um, you know, there are a lot of things that, uh, extends, you know, uh, for example, in the production of the product, um, you know, even just sending the sample from the supplier to us was sort of a struggle uh, because of the timing. There was a problem there as well. Um, communication with the supplier in China uh, because of the language barrier. Um, so there were like some aspects of the logo that weren't really, you know, uh, printed well. So there were a lot of struggles, but uh, and it takes a lot of time and effort. But once it's there, once you hold the actual product with your logo, with your branding, and you actually see it uh, in in the Amazon listing, and uh, once you see you know your ranking go up, um, it, it it's all worth it. You know, you you tend to forget uh, all the hardships that you went through. Um, just because of those milestones that you get. Yeah. There's no cookie cutter technique, but I'm glad that you're already a businessman and you know how business works and you did not give up. So that's what matters most. Yes. You shared earlier that you had a business before selling on Amazon. Um, can you share with us the major, at least, you know, the, the pros and cons of having a traditional bis business versus having this Amazon online business or Amazon store, what's the major difference? Uh, okay, it, it, it's a huge difference uh, in the sense that with Amazon, uh, with a traditional business, a lot of things are, you know, there are a lot of things that you have to work on by yourself. And, um, you know, you have to build it up uh, by yourself. So for example, um, our tech company, we, we build software, we build mobile apps, we build websites. Um, and a lot of those things we struggle with when it comes to building them because, um, you know, our term in the dev world is it's a black box. So if there's, there are certain aspects that you don't understand or you don't know how to go, uh, that is a black box, right? But, um, and, you know, there's no one who can tell you and guide you what to do about it. You just have to create something else, a new component, uh, to, to make it work or to for the final product. Uh, but with Amazon, everything is already in place. You just have to know who to talk to. You just have to know where to go. Um, and everything really just falls into place, especially in Amazon FBA. So once you contact uh, your suppliers in China, they already know um, what to do. Um, they already guide you. So for example, once our products were finished, they asked me for uh, the, the box labels. And I said, what's a box label? 
and they were the ones who actually guided me on the Amazon account on how to print the box labels and the and, and the shipping labels. Um, and and a lot of people are willing to help you, right? Um, and all you have to do is actually just go ahead and do it. Um, so you know because everything is already well in place, uh, there's already a system for everything. And you just have to monitor it, and uh, you just ha- really have to persevere, and um, literally just get on your computer, just click on your mouse, just type on your keyboard, and just really do it, uh, and it's gonna be done. Yeah, I think that's the main difference. How many hours are you working on your Amazon business versus the traditional business? Oh, the traditional business, anywhere between 12 to 16 hours a day. Oh. Uh, anywhere between six to seven days a week. Uh, but the Amazon business, uh, I would probably say about five to six hours a week um, at most. And then from there, it's really just monitoring. So once you set up the PPC campaigns, um, we run you know, twice a week analysis on the keywords. And then uh, you know, we monitor the listings if our competitors are moving their listings or changing some aspects of the keywords. Um, but again, as I said, there are a lot of things already in place with there. So the software that um, the, the course actually recommended for us to use already tells us a lot of those things. And uh, it notifies us of, of certain movements. So um, literally, if anything changes, you just have to uh, just, again, open your laptop or open your tablet and just make the changes, right? Uh, so uh, yeah, that's, that's uh, the beauty of it. Thank you for sharing with us that, Brian. I know that you shared a lot of struggles, but then... It, it, Oh, there's always a learning curve, but after that, it's going to be smooth sailing. So, yeah, congratulations. So, what would you recommend or what, um, what advice can you tell to aspiring Amazon sellers? Yeah, just like you. <laughs> um, so, the biggest advice would be really uh, talk to the community. Right? The community would be willing to really help you out in your problems. More often than not, um, someone has the same problem as you, right? Um, and there's a clear-cut solution for it. Um, also, don't uh, really uh, rush the, the the product research aspect of it, um, and you know, don't be too attached, and uh, you know, ha- don't be too attached in the product uh, research stage. Um, because my wife and I, we were rooting for some products, which in the end, based on our research, weren't really um, feasible. Uh, they were either too, um, you know, the price point was too low or the, the volume wasn't too high. The keywords were not a lot, right? Um, so don't get too attached. Um, right now, our product, we know, we, you know, it, it's not something that we use. Uh, we don't have a use case for it. But you know the numbers told us that it's the right product, and uh, we're glad we found it. So uh, I guess yeah, that's that's that would be my uh, advice for upcoming Amazon sellers. That's so good, Brian. Actually, yeah, do not be attached or do not marry your products. Actually, I'm not uh, I'm not using my products, and uh, I haven't seen one in the Philippines. So. That's a tip for you guys. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, nako Brian, ang dami mong, ang daming advices, ang dami naming realization for today, especially with what you experienced. I'm really glad that you were able to pull through and also make, um, make a lot of realizations and a great advice to our aspiring Amazon sellers, especially Filipino Amazon sellers. So, thank you for that, Brian. So, Amazon Nation, yeah, I'm sure that you learned a lot. And thank you again for watching this interview. If you have questions, just let us know in the comment section. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you for watching this video. My name is Lesha Kino. Make sure you hit like, click subscribe, and click on the bell so you get notified whenever we release new YouTube videos. We are also on Facebook, so make sure that you hit like. And see first and follow us on Instagram at Amazon. We don't just build brands, we change lives.
Thank you.